continuing with the inference of using inferences in Protege, I will show you in this video how to do it in Web Protege. So we have already, as a previous video, I up already upload to Web Protege project my people ontology. So as you can see, we have the same classes as a previous ontology. I can add in another video I add another class here a subclass of the plant that I will call beans just to make it the same as a, another video and I will create another individual called that we can call it uh, uh, red beans red red beans uh, red beans are uh, we can uh, okay. that's a type of beans and that's all and we can create another individual called uh, Esteban that is a man and also is a male just to say make it uh, similar to the the previous video and it has a relationship so it's red beans and that's all so we have the same uh, the same as the previous video so make it to make an inference we in the web protege we uh, click in the add tab and make a query so we can make a, uh, the same type of queries in Web Protege. We can create different type of, uh, similarly to the desktop application of Protege, we can also in Web Protege create different type of queries. So let's try something. Here in, in query of the Web Protege, you cannot use different type of, you cannot choose uh, different reasoners but it works uh, in a similar way. So uh, you can select uh, the type of query that you want to say. For instance, I want to see an instance. So I'm looking for individuals for adults, for instance, here. So we can check. There are two adults in this. One is Esteban and another is Mini. We can also see another type of, uh, for instance, uh, yeah, an adult that it's for instance it has a relationship on its which is a relationship. And see, only the only one that I just created is the Esteban individual. So in this way you can create very complicated and very complex, not complicated but complex uh, queries in Web Protege. Thank you.